Oh gosh, where did my... No, seriously? I had my knife and my scissors somewhere. Oh, right here. You know, above all these packages. So this introduction is going to be different from the rest of the videos that you've seen. So today I am what you call power filming. I was gone for four weeks and all these boxes started coming in, you know, PR companies and stuff I bought from AliExpress and pretty much I feel like there's this pressure to have to unbox it and also film it. However, there's like a million boxes. So to save myself some time, I'm going, <clears throat> sorry, to film this introduction once and I'm going to play the same introduction throughout the rest of my video or unboxing videos. So what I'm gonna do is that film this introduction, unbox a whole bunch of stuff, and when I feel like the video is too long or when I'm too tired to unbox anything, then I'll stop the video and then I will continue the next time with the same introduction. So yes, you have seen this introduction before. So if you want to see what I'm unboxing, please keep watching. As you can tell, I have a lot of paint by numbers to unbox. So I'm gonna quickly go through this. And I also, right here, I have a custom paint by number. I will open that last. But everything else here, I ordered only from two stores from AliExpress. The first one is Gatistori, and the second one is Chenistori. And the reason why I like these two companies is because, and you'll see when I unbox it, I feel like they are consistent with their packaging and when they pack their paints, they also give me a little thumbprint of what the image is supposed to look like, which is what I like. So I'm gonna quickly get through this and I probably will show you in another video how I store all my paint by numbers. So let's get started. So I'm not going to unbox anything in a particular order. I'm just unboxing whatever is the closest to me. So give me a second while I move everything to the far end of my table. All right, first thing I'm unboxing. And did I also mention I like these rolled up canvases too, which is why I only order from them. We're just going to assume that they all come with paintbrushes, because they all do, and We'll also assume that everything is rolled up because they always are. Just to make this unboxing easier. And we'll also assume that all the canvases are primed too. And it's all this light gray symbols and lines. Now most of these canvases that I purchased are 40 by 50s except one and that's a special one and you'll see why and no it's not the custom uh i was gonna say diamond painting that's not a diamond painting paint by numbers so if you can see i did get a picture of a dancer this has been going around youtube quite often this picture and i just wanted it and it was a good sale on aliexpress and the second one that a purchased, if you can see, it's a little tiny picture. It's a picture of two people underneath a heart-shaped tree. It's like the shadow of two people. Funny story. My husband, a while ago, before I made this purchase, who is in sales and marketing, did say to me, and this was very interesting, 
he did say to me, Jenny, people like things in threes. And apparently, you know, his marketing team um, sells things in threes and people buy it. So I was like, you know what? Good idea. I'm going to buy things in threes. So these are the three that I bought for this particular subject. They are just uh, leaves, I guess, but you can tell it's a series. So I'll show you. I know my ring light on this side is so bright. It's been raining and the natural sunlight is not cutting it. And I really don't know what this is gonna look like off camera, but I'm trying my best here, guys. Or sorry, on camera, but I'm trying my best. Well, this one's already open, so this one will be easy for me. I did have to open some of these ahead of time because I didn't know what I was ordering. Now this one's different. I actually have a reference sheet of this photo, which the others, well the ones that I just opened don't have, and they usually do. And I just said that they are consistent in their packaging, which clearly they are not. Okay. Oh, you know why this one is different? Because this is the custom painting that I ordered, which I was actually supposed to open last, but I didn't realize that this was the custom. But I'll show you now anyway. So this is a 40 by 50 picture. Uh, this is when we were at the beach. This is, I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, can't see it, okay. Of, me, Ender, and Kyler when we were at the beach. So this is Ender, this is Kyler, and this is me. All right, so you know what? I lied about, this is from Gettysbury. I lied about things being inconsistent. Oh, because I have never seen a pa I've never seen packaging like this before. The only reason why I can think uh, why this is packed like this is because when I ordered these paintings, this like these paintings actually came in a pack of three. So maybe this is why they're all packed like this. Anyways, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I do like the fact that they're all individually packed and not, and labeled where I don't have to put on a sticker. So I'm okay with that. So once again, this is another one of those, hey, let's buy things in three because, you know, that's what people like. So that's what I did. First pack of three were our, if you can see, black and white photos. And they are of, like, a, I don't know what that thing is called. Can you guys see? Like, that's like a, a it's a weed, a feather, and Oh God, I don't know if we can see this. And the word love. And the second pack of three that I purchased, they're just like, like they look like tree trunks and a leaf, like gold, green. Golden green is the scheme of everything. And it just looks like you cut a tree stump and then you put a whole bunch of green and gold paint and then you stamped it on the canvas. And that's what this looks like. So you've got like, oh gosh, these two, I don't know if you can see it. 
tree stump looking things. And then in the middle is this beautiful green and gold leaf. Now the reason why I purchased this is because I want to know if they actually have gold, which they don't. They have yellows and like mustard colors, but no gold, which is okay because I can actually go to Michael's or some craft store and buy acrylic gold paint just to make it all pop a little more. And you know, the sale was good, so I wasn't passing up on the sale. Let's start with this. I bought pictures of food. If you can see, so these are like tomatoes on a cutting board and like a whole bunch of citrus fruits on a cutting board. Uh, these owls. Now I know this picture is going around YouTube. And to match with it, because it's like this colorful scheme, is also these cats, because it's like that same color scheme. I purchased this for Kyler, so it's an astronaut. Um, and the balloons are the solar system planets. He's obsessed with the solar system, so I thought that would be nice to hang in his room. And the last one is a sunflower. And, you know, as you guys know, my sister's favorite flower is a sunflower. So whenever you guys see me order flowers, um, most likely it's a sunflower because it reminds me of my sister and it's just therapeutic for me to, you know, purchase and paint or diamond paint things that remind me of her. Last two packages, and I believe these two are connected some way, somehow, because like I said, I took my husband's advice of purchasing things in threes. Oh, where's the picture here? Or maybe... Oh, this is one canvas. Okay. Let's put that there. So it's one canvas, but it's a big canvas. And the reason why I got a bigger canvas is because this is a Christmas themed canvas and Christmas in my family is huge. Um, Ender loves Christmas and my mom loves Christmas. I grew up, uh, like short story, but you know, my family grew up celebrating Christmas and I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not really a Christmas person. And let me tell you why. Because growing up, when my family had to host Christmas, because I have a very big family, and it was just expected of us to host Christmas, hosting Christmas is extremely stressful. You know what, while I tell you the story, I'll just open the other package. Because this is, I know for sure, a Christmas painting as well. And it was just very stressful. We were also hosted Thanksgiving and our Canadian Thanksgiving is in October. So we would host Thanksgiving and you know, I have a big family, so that was stressful. And then it left us like eight, nine weeks to rest before we would have to host Christmas. And it's just very stressful because I have a very big family. You know, we had to plan the menu and we planned the, uh, you know, the games. And, you know, it was just stressful, just, just stressful. 
And then what happened um, was that my parents couldn't host Christmas anymore because we sold our house. And there was just no house big enough to support all the people that, you know, we normally would invite. So things were quiet for a while, but then, and I, I was fine with it. I was fine with it. I like calm Christmases because, I mean, not only because I was expected to host, but I also became a hairstylist and Christmas in my industry is huge. Like I see my whole roster in the month of December. Like I must see at least 500 people in the month of December, you know, and that's stressful. So like I would work almost 80 to 90 hours a week from no, I had a very big clientele. So I would say from beginning of November, all the way to December 24 and even then not everybody could get in when they want because you know everyone wants their hair done for Christmas they want to look good at the Christmas dinner table and I get it but because you know I basically had no time for anything it, that was stressful too and it just really put like a bad taste in my mouth when it came to Christmas. Like I always associated Christmas with stress. Either I was working too much or I was expected to host like a 60 person gathering. And you know, that's just how I always saw Christmas. Now, because I haven't been working because we've been in a pandemic and I've cut down my clientele list quite a bit. Like I don't, by any means, I don't have 500 people as customers anymore. I just have my nice, like my good few people. And, um, and you know, I started this when Kyler was born. So now it's been, now it's been like, Two Christmases where everything is calm but like you do get a little bit of a stress but because we've been in lockdown there definitely is no 60 people gathering and we're keeping the gathering short you know just for uh, safety purposes you know COVID purposes and I'm not gonna lie it's been nice and for the very first time when I put this order through it felt like I was in the Christmas spirit and Ender would be floored if he ever heard me say this but it's almost like I'm excited for Christmas which is why I ordered these paintings and I got them in a very big size because clearly it's you know three paintings but Two packs of paints. So these paintings are 65 by 70. And this one is of a Christmas tree. And this one is a Christmas scene. You know, where people are outside and playing, there's a snowman and a Christmas tree, and it looks like people are going Christmas shopping. And this one is Santa Claus, who's putting Christmas presents underneath the tree and is telling the dog to be quiet so, you know, you don't wake the children. Anyway, so that's my story about Christmas. I will end the video right here. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe all down below or catch me on all my social media, which is right there. That's a kiss Jenny. That's spelled kiss.jenny and Jenny with an IE. Or if you want to subscribe to my channel, click on my face right here. Or if you want to catch me on my last video, click right here. I upload videos every Thursdays and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.